Good morning, everyone. This is Robert from RJL518, welcoming you here from another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. Although I just came from Dave, David Baseball Demos doing his 2019 Washington Nationals replay. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about it, I don't know what rock you're hiding under, so you better go check it out at Baseball Demos. He is also doing Inside Pitch with the Washington Nationals. This is the 1985 National League Championship Series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Houston Astros. This is Game 3 at the Astrodome. The Houston Astros lead this series two games to none. Unbelievable comeback last night for that win. Better check those games out so far. So far, this series has been has been wacky. My entire postseason has been wacky. Jack Dawson and Philip Reynolds join me here at the Astrodome for this game here on Saturday morning. Astros lead two games to none. And today, the Astros have their ace going on the mound. The Cardinals have their number four starter. This could be a tough game, but so far, who knows what can happen the way the dice can roll. And you never know what will happen here, especially in RJL 518. Let's get to the game three starter. Starting pitcher for the Houston Astros is Mike Scott. He is their number one, 18 and 8, 329 ERA. However, in the postseason, he is 0 and 0. He has two no decisions. He is the only Astros starter that does not have a decision. Uh, in the postseason so far, the Astros, of course, are seven and one in the postseason. The Cardinals are three and four. Astros have won seven straight since their loss to the Cincinnati Reds in game one of the NLWCS. So we'll see how long the Astros can keep it up. But Scott is the pitcher today, and we'll see if the Cardinals can get a win against him. Let's get things started. Top of the first inning. Leading off for the Cardinals will be left fielder Vince Coleman. Coleman batting 182 for the postseason, a little uh, pretty much underachieving that 267 average he had in 85. Here we go, game three of the 85 NLCS. Scott will pitch, and that's a 5 5. That's a walk. The 11 is going to be too high. Astrodome subtracts one from walks, and that is all. Coleman will swing, and that is a 2-4, and that's a star two. He flies out the center. Out number one. Here's center fielder Willie McGee. McGee batting 250 for the playoffs. Scott will pitch. 6-2, strikeout three. Got him, struck him out. Scott had 137 strikeouts in 85. Of course, one year away from his MVP and his Cy, from his, I'm sorry, from his Cy Young season. That's strikeout number one for Scott. Two men down. Here's the second baseman, Tommy Herr. Herr batting 214 for the Cardinals in this postseason. It's from Scott. 4-3. That's an error on a throw. Her will swing 1-5. That's a fly ball to right field. There is no throwing error. And a 1-2-3 inning for Scott. Cardinals are set down in order early. We go to the bottom of the first starting pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, their number four starter, and that is Kurt Kepshire. He was 10-9, 4-7-5 ERA. But he actually is 1-0 for the postseason. So Kepshire does have a win. And we'll see if he can get another win here for the Cardinals. Leading off for the Astros, second baseman Bill Doran. Doran batting 216, not having a good, a good postseason in the uh, leadoff position. Kepshire will pitch. That's a 2-6. It's a blank. Thorin will swing 4-4. Four, four. He grounds out to short. And that's the first out. That will bring up the shortstop, Craig Reynolds. Reynolds batting three, batting 313 for the postseason. Most of the Astros batters are actually hitting over 300. There are only two batters in the starting lineup that are not. Doran was one of them. Reynolds will. 
Kepshire will pitch. 1-3. That's a blank. He's not tired. Reynolds will swing. 1-3. He flies out the right. Two down. And here is the first baseman, Denny Walling. Walling batting 394 for the Astros in the postseason. Of course, the Astros, as I said, are on a seven-game winning streak. Not surprising, the Astros batters are getting hits. Kepshire, 6-5 against the lefty. It's a blank. Walling will swing 1-1. One, one. That's a base hit past second. Walling gets a single. A two-out base knock. He will go to first. Here's the center fielder, Jose Cruz. Cruz, unfortunately, is the worst hitter in the lineup for the Astros. He's only batting 133. He's the only, so him and Doran are the only two batting under 300 in the starting lineup. That just shows you how good this Astros team is playing. I will roll a strat. Uh, Walling, the only thing he can do anything is on a one and nothing happening there. So Kepshire will pitch. That's a 4-3 strikeout. Eight, and he got him. Struck him out. Kepshire gets strikeout number one, so no runs and a hit. Kepshire had 67 strikeouts. Not a hard thrower at all for the Cardinals. But he had 29 starts, and that's the reason why he gets the call here as the four starter. A lot of people wonder why it shouldn't be Bob Forsh. Kepshire had too many more starts for me to go ahead and do the change. At the end of one, no score. We go to the top of the second. Here's Jack Clark, first baseman for the Cardinals. Clark is the leading hitter for the Cardinals. He's batting 393. Only three batters for the Cardinals in the starting lineup are hitting above 300. Clark, Pendleton, and Ozzie Smith. Scott will pitch. And that's a 2-2, and against the righty, strikeout plus, and yep, he'll get him with that 12, struck him out. Strikeout number two for Scott. Here's the right fielder, Andy Van Slyke. Van Slyke is batting 290, that's not bad, he's hitting above his average. Scott will pitch, that's a 6-1 against the lefty, it's an automatic out. It'll be a star two and a fly out to center. Two outs. And now the third baseman, Terry Pendleton. Pendleton batting 333. He's 10 for 30. Scott looking on. Fans here at the Astrodome would love to see an Astros win today. Scott will pitch. 6-2, strikeout 17 high. Pendleton will swing 1-6. He flies out to left. And another 1-2-3 inning for Mike Great Scott. Bottom of the second coming up. Baseball Demos joins us here at the Astrodome. Check out his awesome games, his awesome channel. He is one of the best out there. Leading off for the Astros will be right fielder Jerry Mumphrey. Mumphrey for the postseason is batting 321. He's also doing well. Kepshire with the pitch. And that's a 2-3. And against the lefty, that's a blank. Mumphrey's a switch hitter batting from the left side. Mumphrey will bat, will swing 3-2. He lines out to short. One way, and here is here is the left fielder, Kevin Bass. Bass also doing well. Bass is the leading hitter. He went four for four last night. He's batting 419 for the Astros, 13 for 31. So Kevin Bass is the leading hitter for the Astros. Oh, it's a best of seven. It's a best of seven. Remember, in 1985, the NLCS was, that was the first year the NLCS went to a best of seven. That was the first year I think it went that way. Was it? Or was it 1986? What was the first year the 80, the NLC, the eight, both championship series went to a best of seven? I thought it was 85 or 86. Not 100% sure. 
But all my cha- all my NL, but all my championship series are best of seven. Absolutely, I don't do a best of five. The best of five is the division series. Kepshire will pitch. That's a three-two. That's a range play. Bass will swing six-three. That's a star two. It's a fly ball to right. The ball is hit to Van Slyke. His range is a two. He will not get it. Is it a single or a double? That's going to be a base hit for Bass. And that is the fifth straight hit for Kevin Bass since from last night. He's now hit five. He's gotten on. He's now got five hits in a row going back to last night. So Bass on at first. Here's the catcher, Mark Bailey. Bailey doing pretty well. He's batting 346. The infield is halfway. We will check the strat. Bass does have a steal chance. That one, let's see. Yes, four minus one is three. Bass is 14. A 14 stolen. 14 plus two is 16. And Nieto plus one is a 17. Yeah, you try to steal here. A one to 17, Bass will steal second. And he's safe. Bass will go ahead and take the stolen base. So we steal second and field goes back. So Bass on at second. Uh, the only way he can get a, a roll strat again, the only way he can take try to steal third is on a one. That's not happening. Kepshire will pitch. That's a 3-2. That's again a range play. Bailey will swing, 2-2, two, two. that's a ball hit to right field, that is a 15, against the righty, it's too high, but it is a ball to right, again, uh, Van Slyke has to make a play, his range is a 2, a 1-2, to two. he makes it, yes, he does, this time, Van Slyke makes the catch, it's a fly ball to right, Kevin Bass's base running rating is a one, is a 4, He'll get the third on a four on the blue die, a six six he's out. And a six four comes up, but he holds it second. The only way he is out is on a six six, but that is two outs. This time Van Slyke. And now makes another this time he makes the catch. Here's the third baseman, Phil Garner. Garner batting 345. Bass on at second. Garner at the plate. Two outs here. Bottom of the second. No score. Kepshire. Actual roll for Strat first. Only on a one. That's a four. Nothing happening. Kepshire will pitch. Five, four. That's a possible error. Garner will swing. Three, two. That's a base hit past third. And is that going to be an error? The third baseman's Pendleton. His error rating is a seven. That's a two. It's going to be a single and an error. So a base hit, it's an infield single. And that's going to be an E5. It's a single and an error, which means it's an infield, it's an infield, it's a bad throw. So it's an infield single with a one extra base advancement on a bad throw. So Kevin Bass does come in, don't even have to check the runner advancement, so Bass automatically scores. Garner finds himself at second. Astros lead one to nothing. And that's an unearned run. Oh, wow. Kepshire said, come on, I need some defense here. Phil Garner gets a base hit past third, and that is a and that is an error. And one nothing Astros. Here's the pitcher, Mike Scott. He bats one. He batted 153 as a hitter. So the Astros take the early one nothing lead with two outs here in the top of the second. Check the strat. Nothing happening. Kepshire will pitch two six. That's a blank. Scott gets the swing three three, and he grounds it to short, and that will end the inning there. One run for the Astros on two hits and in one error. It's the first error on the Cardinals after two one nothing Astros. As right now, the Cardinals really can't get a break. We go to the top of the third. 
Leading off for the Redbirds will be shortstop Ozzy Smith. Smith is batting 375. He's actually the second leading hitter on the Redbirds. Scott will pitch. And that's a 2-1. That's a blank. Smith gets the swing. 4-3. And he grounds it back to Scott. Out number one. Here's the catcher, Tom Nieto. Nieto is batting 240 for the Cardinals in the postseason. Scott will pitch. 1-3. That's a range play. Nieto will swing. 2-5. That's a ground ball to first. That ball is hit to Denny Walling. His range is a 4. He won't get that one. Single or double. That's going to be a base hit for Nieto. He gets the first. So Walling couldn't make that play. He'll trot down to first base. That will bring up the pitcher, Kurt Kepshire. Corners are in, expecting the bunt. One out. And we'll see if we get the bunt. Kepshire's bunt rating is a three. The only way he gets it is a 14 to 19 on the strat die, and he doesn't. So Kepshire is going to swing. Nieto on it first. Scott will pitch. And that's a 6-4. That's a double question mark. Kepshire, a lefty, a 1-10 is an automatic out. The 12 is too high. Kepshire gets the swing. 3-5. It's a star 6, and he flies out the right. So out number 2, Kepshire flies out. And now can Vince Coleman come through with a big hit? Nieto on it first. Uh, roll a strat, see if anything happening. Scott does have a pickoff chance. Nope. Scott will pitch. That's a 1-6. That's at the park. Astrodome says 4-6. And that's going to be a base hit with a possible double to left field. Nieto automatically gets two bases. Coleman rounding first. He's going to head for second. Kind of dangerous here. But let's see. His base running rating is a five. The ball is hit the left. And that is Bass. His arm rating is a zero. So Coleman, a one to five. He makes it. But a six, he's thrown out. And he's safe. Oh, Coleman took a chance. But he gets into scoring position. So that is a single. But Coleman gets to second base. Nieto automatically gets third. Runners at second and third. A chance now for the Cardinals. It'll be up to Willie McGee. And McGee only batting 250 in this postseason. He's already 0 for 1. Runners at second and third. A chance for the Cardinals. Already down 1 nothing here in game three of this NLCS. Two outs. I will roll Strat. That is a 14. Nothing happening. Scott looking on. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be a 5-6. Strikeout. One got him. Struck him out. Inning over. Strikeout number three for Scott. No runs. Two hits for the Cardinals. And we go to the bottom of the third. Time out while I go to the concession stand to get a drink. We go to the bottom half of the third inning. Bill Doran will lead off for the Astros. He's 0 for 1. 
Kepshire will pitch. That's a 2-3 against the lefty. That's a blank, or I should say switch hitter. Against the switch hitter, that's a blank. A blank. Uh, Doran, 5-5. Five, five. That's a ground ball to first. Doran continues to have issues hitting the ball. One out. Way underachieving that 287 average he had in 85. Here's Craig Reynolds. Reynolds is 0 for 1. Kepshire, 5-6. That's a blank. Reynolds will swing 6-1, and against the righty, he flies out the left. Flies out the left against the right-hander. And now a chance for Denny Walling. Walling is one for one, continues to hit well. Kepshire, 4-4. Four, four. Range play at the park. Astrodome, 2-3. And that is going to be a base hit with a possible double to center field. But first, it's a range play. The ball is at the center, and that's McGee. His range is a three. Yes, Millie McGee comes over there, pretty much makes the catch easily, and that took a hit away from Walling. Nice play by McGee. So it's just a fly out to center, and the inning is over. One, two, three inning for Kepshire. Still one nothing after three. We go to the top of the fourth. Tommy Herr coming up to bat. Herr is 0 for 1. Scott looking on. Astros leading 1 to nothing. They lead this series two games to none. Tomorrow it will be Bob Nepper for the Astros and John Tudor for the Cardinals. Scott will pitch. 2-6. Error on a grounder. Her will swing 4-3. That is a ground ball to short. The ball is hit to Reynolds. His error rating is a 6. That's a 20. He makes it with no trouble. He'll throw to first for the out. Here's Jack Clark. Clark is 0 for 1. Struck out his first time up. Scott will pitch. 5-4. Hit by pitch. That 17 is way out of there. Clark will swing 2-1. Against the righty, he grounds out to third. Two away. And now here's Andy Van Slyke. Van Slyke is 0 for 1. Scott will pitch. 4-2. Strikeout 6. Got him. Struck him out. Strikeout number 4 for Scott. And a 1-2-3 inning. Go the Cardinals. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Game was moving pretty along pretty well. Here's Jose Cruz. Cruz struck out his first time up. 0 for 1. Kepshire looking on. Here's the pitch. That's a 4-6. That's a double question mark. Cruz a lefty. A 1-8 to eight is a base hit up the middle. The 14 is too high. Cruz will swing. 1-2. And he laces a double into left. Cruz splits the gap between left and center, and that will go to the wall. He will go to second. He gets a double. Nice leadoff double for the Astros. And here's Mumphrey. Mumphrey is 0 for 1. He lined out. Infield is going to be normal. Uh, the only way Cruz can try to steal third is on a 1. That's not happening. Kepshire will pitch. 3-4, that's at the park. Astrodome states 1-5, that's a fly out the left. One away, and here's Kevin Bass. Bass singled and stole a bases last time up and scored. So he's one for one. Nope, nothing happening for Cruz. He'll stay where he's at. Kepshire will pitch. 6-5 against the switch hitter. That's a blank. Bass will swing. That's a 2-2, and he grounds it to third. Throw goes to first for out number two. Cruz's base running rating is a three. The only way he can get to third is on a six. Nope, they'll stay where he's at.
Two outs, and now the batter will be Mark Bailey. Bailey is 0 for 1. Again, Cruz needs a 1 in order to do something. Nope, and I don't think he would do anything anyway. So, Kepsh But Kepshire still has pickoff ratings. Kepshire will pitch to Bailey. And that's a 4-3. Strikeout 11. Got him. Struck him out. That is strikeout number two for Kepshire. He gets out of it. So no runs and a hit for the Astros. And the Astros still lead one to nothing after four. The score, the game would probably be scoreless for Kepshire if it wasn't for the error. We go to the top of the fifth. Leading off for the Cardinals will be Pendleton. Pendleton is 0 for 1. Game 3, 1985 NLCS. Houston lead two games to none. Scott, 2-6. Error on a grounder. Pendleton will swing 6-4. And that's a fly ball to center field. Of course, there's no error there. That's out number 1. Here's Ozzie Smith. Scott doing the pitching. That's a 3-2. That's a range play. Smith will swing 3-6. That's a star three. It's a ground ball to first. The ball is hit to Walling. Walling has to make another range check. His range is a four. Yep, this time he'll make it easily. He throws to Scott covering the bag. That's out number two. And now Tom Nieto. Nieto singled his last time up. One for one. Scott will pitch. One three. That's a range play. Nieto will swing. One two. That's a double to center field. The ball is hit. It's a range play, though. It's hit to Cruz. His range is a three out there. Does he take a double away? Yes, he does. Cruz makes a big running play out there near the wall, and he takes a double away from Tom Nieto. Fly out to center, side retired. Cruz flashing some leather. Halfway through the game, still one nothing Astros. Bottom of inning number five. Scrap iron Phil Garner will come up to bat. He is one for one, and he had an error, which allowed him to. And he was one for one with a single and an error. Steeler fan joins us here at the Astrodome. I hope you have plenty of dome foam today, sir. Kepshire will pitch. Four six. That's a double question mark. Garner a righty. A one to 17 is an automatic out. That's a four. That's exactly what it is. And that's just going to be a star six and a fly out the left. One man down. That will bring up the pitcher, Mike Scott. Kepshire will deal. And that's a one, two. That's a blank. Scott gets to swing. That's a one, six. He flies out the right. Two outs. And now here's Bill Doran. Doran is 0 for 2. Kepshire, 1 2. That's a blank. Doran will swing 6 3. That's a star 2. He flies out to right. And a 1 2 3 inning for Kepshire. He's pitching very well. He's pitching very well. Really, he only gave up one run, but the Cardinals are not getting any offense at all. Still one nothing Astros after five. The Cardinals scored 13 runs in game three of the NLDS against the Expos. They scored 10 runs in game four and 10 runs in game five. In this series against the Astros, the Cardinals scored one run in game two and two runs in game and scored one run in game two and scored and scored five runs in game one. So really, 
for some reason, the offense has died a little bit. Thought it'd make that interesting. As so far, the National League games have been kind of high scoring. Been here since the second inning. Plenty of dome foam. I'm pretty sure dome foam is something you never run out of. Am I right about that, Steeler fan? You never run out of dome foam. Top of the sixth, one nothing. Kurt Kepshire as the leadoff batter for the Cardinals. Let's see. Kepshire can pitch to 23 batters before tiring. He's already pitched a 19, 21, 2, 3. I don't know. Do you yank him out now and go to the bullpen and try to get some hits? You're down one nothing here against Mike Scott. Or do you save the pinch hitter? I think you save the pinch hitter. So Kepshire is going to bat. Scott will pitch. 6-4. That's a double question mark. Kepshire, a lefty. A 1-10 to is an automatic out. The 16 is too high. So Kepshire gets to swing. That's a 3-4, and he grounds it to short. So out number one. Now here comes Vince Coleman. Coleman is 1-2. for two. Scott will pitch. And that's a 3-1. Home run question mark. Against the switch hitter who's batting on the left side, a 1-6. to six. That's a 3. It passes. Coleman has a 1. The only way Coleman hits this home run is on a 1. No, he just missed it by 2. So no homer for Coleman, but he does get to hit. That's a 4-4. Four, four. And against a right-hander, that's a base hit past second. Coleman will take that. As he goes to first. So Coleman does get his second hit of the game. And puts a very dangerous runner on base. And the batter is Willie McGee. And you can bet Coleman's going to try to steal. So he's got an attempt to 14. A 14 or lower on the die. Coleman gets his chance. That's an 18. He doesn't. Holy cow. He doesn't get the chance to steal. So that means Scott's got a pitch to McGee infield halfway. McGee can't bunt, so here's the play. Scott, 1-4. That's a walk. The 7 is too high. McGee has a 7 against righties, but minus 1 is a 6. McGee does swing, though. That's a 3-2, and it's going to be a base hit to left field. It's a single for McGee. McCole Coleman's base running rating is a 5. Ball hit the left field to get the third. Minus two is a three. Left fielder is Bass. No adjustment. A one to three. Coleman is safe at third. Four to five he holds. Six, someone's out. It is a one. Coleman will make third base. And with the four, William McGee will take second. Oh, on the throw. So the throw goes to third. Not in time. Coleman safe. McGee goes to second on the throw. And the Cardinals are in business. Oh, boy. Mike Scott in a bit of a jam. And now the batter is Tom Herr. But the Astros have gotten out of jams before this entire series. The Cardinals are going to play. The Astros are going to play the infield in. It's going to be very hard to stop Coleman. Runners at second and third. A chance for the Cardinals. Her is 0 for 2. He will bat. Coleman does have a chance to steal home with a 14. The only way he can do it is if the if the die is on it is a two or lower. That's a 20. Scott turns around, though, throws to second to see if he can pick off McGee, and it's an 8. No, McGee gets back. McGee stays there, gets back at second. Scott thought he could pick off McGee. That would have been ginormous if he did that. Now he'll pitch to her. Infield is in. Scott will pitch. 6-1 against the switch hitter. Against the switch hitter, that's an automatic out. The question is, what kind of out is it? 
It's a star three. It's a ground ball. It's a ground ball to first. Oh, boy. It's a ground ball to first. Coleman's base running rating is a five. They're gonna set. They're gonna send him Coleman coming home. Coleman coming home. Uh, what they're gonna and they're gonna throw to the plate. A uh, one to three. Coleman is safe. No, he's thrown out at the plate. Coleman is thrown out. So it's a fielder's choice as Coleman is thrown out at the plate near the Cardinals. You gotta try to do something here. You had your fastest runner on and you still send him. The throw went to second. The throw went to the to the other side. McGee automatically takes third, and her is on first, but there are now two outs. You gotta if you're the Cardinals, you gotta try to get something going here. You're down two games to none. You have your fastest runner, even with the infield in. And the next batter is Jack Clark. So now the infield is back. Fielder's choice. Coleman thrown out at the plate on a four. Barely made it. Tagged out. But now here's Clark. Runners at first and third. I am going to roll the strat. That's a 20. Scott throws to first. And that's a 15. Her gets back. Now Scott will throw to Clark. Runners at first and third. Top of the sixth. One nothing Astros. Hockey Unreal joins us here at the Astrodome. Scott will pitch. 6-5 against a righty. That's a blank. Clark gets to swing. That's a 4-4. Four -four. And he popped it up in the infield. Popped it up to the pitcher. Scott's going to call for it. Makes the catch. Inning over. No runs. Two hits. Runners at second and third, nobody. One out, and the Cardinals cannot get the run in. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Astros get out of the jam. And now Craig Reynolds will come up to bat. This will probably be Kepshire's last last inning and he's pitched well too he's only given up the one run and that was really because of an error Kepshire will pitch that's a 6-2 against the lefty it's a blank Reynolds will swing 6-2 that's a base hit to center leadoff single for Reynolds he'll go to first and that will bring up Denny Walling Walling is one for two Infield halfway. Anything on strap for Walling? Nope, that's a four. Two minus one is one. There's no hit and run. Kepshire will pitch to Walling. And that's a 6-3. That's a walk. That 12 is high. Walling will swing. 6-5. He flies out to center. Reynolds stays at first. And now Cruz. Cruz is one for two. He doubled his last time up. A one to three, something can happen. That's a 14, no. Kepshire will pitch to Cruz. That's a 6-2. Against the lefty, it's a blank. Cruz will swing. One, two. That's a double to left field for Cruz. He hits his second straight double of the game. Will it score Reynolds? Reynolds, base running rating is a four. Double to left, minus one a three to get to home. Left field is Coleman, minus one is a two. A one to two, Correct Reynolds will score. Three to five, he holds. Six, two to five, he is out. And that is a two, Reynolds comes in to score. RBI double by Jose Cruz. Cruz will hold at second. And it is 2 nothing Astros. Stadium cheers. EA Section 1933 cheers. EA. The batter now is Jerry Mumphrey. 
Infield now back. And Kepshire, this will be... That's it for Kepshire. They're going to take him out. Kepshire is done. They're going to go to a lefty on the mound. As I'll kill that call. That call was garbage. Love those robocalls. So Kepshire will leave the game pitching beautifully. But he'll leave with the loss. And the Cardinals are going to bring up Ricky Horton to pitch to Mumphrey. Down to nothing. One out here, bottom of the sixth. Ricky Horton will pitch to Mumphrey. Cruz on at second. Anything for Cruz. Three minus one is a two. The only way he can get something is on a one. And no. Horton will go ahead and pitch. And that's a 1-6. Strikeout. Got him. Struck out Mumphrey. Two away. Big K by Horton. And now here's Kevin Bass. Horton will pitch to Bass. Check the strat again. Nothing on the 13. Horton looking on. Here comes the pitch. 2-2. Two -two. Strikeout. 12 is high. Bass gets the swing. That's a 4-5. He grounds it to first, and that will end the inning. One run for the Astros on two hits. After six, it's a 2-0 Astro lead. We go to the top of the seventh. A big chance for St. Louis went by the board. Here's Andy Van Slyke leading off. He is 0 for 2. 2 nothing Astros. Seventh inning now. Scott pitching a shutout. But he's getting great leather in the... He's getting great defense in the field. Scott, 4-5. That's a blank. Van Slyke will swing. 4-6. That's a fly out to center. And that's out number one. And the Cardinals also are, are, are just not hitting. Here's Terry Pendleton. It's like they gave, it's like they left all the hits and all the runs scored against the Expos in the NLDS. Scott will pitch. One five. Strikeout three. Got him. Strikeout number five for Mike Scott. And now it'll be Ozzie Smith. Smith is 0 for 2. Scott will pitch. And that's a 6-5 against the switch hitter. That's an automatic out. Star 5, and that's going to be a fly out to left. Another 1-2-3 inning for Scott. Inning over. We are at the 7th inning stretch. Astros lead 2 nothing. Sing your take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Ricky Horton coming out. Mark Bailey is going to come up to bat for the Astros. Bailey is 0 for 2. Cardinals are going to go with a right-hander, and they're going to bring in. They're going to bring in Bob Forsh. Bob Forsh will pitch for the Cardinals over Mark, and he'll go up against Mark Bailey here. 
Bottom of the seventh inning, two nothing Astros. Force with the pitch. May the force be with you. Two six. That's a walk plus. That will walk Bailey with a one easily. Bailey trots down to first. Lead off walk given up by Forsh. And now here's Phil Garner, scrap iron. He is one for two. Infield halfway. Cardinals know the way they're hitting, they can't allow any runs to score. Let's see. I only think anything can happen to be on a hit and run, but I don't think so. But I will roll the strat. And that is a two. Nothing happening. No hit. And, I'm not going to hit and run with Bailey. We'll go ahead and, sw and we'll swing away. Force will pitch to Garner. That's a 4-5. That's an error on a grounder. Garner will swing 3-2. That's a base hit. To th that's a base hit past third. It's a single. It's an error on a grounder, but not on S1 to S6. That's a straight base hit. Bailey's base running rating is a 2. On a base hit to third, past third, there's no way Bailey can make second with a base running rating of 2. Base third, make third, he will hold. Single for Garner. Runners at first and second. And the batter will be Mike Scott. He will pit. He will come up to hit. Why not? He's pitching a gem. Let me see. I'm, however, let me think about that. Scott's got 26 batters. You know what? That's going to be it. I think that's going to be it for Scott. You got runners at first and second. Your bullpen is very good. And he can only go to 26 batters before tiring. Nieto would be the 26th batter. You know what? Yeah, Scott's done. Scott leaves with a chance for the win. It might sound like Kevin Cash, but no, he's about to tire. That's different. And you got a big chance with runners on base, and you want Glenn Davis to take a swing. Here comes Glenn Davis. He will pinch it. Runners at first and second. Dave Little joins us here at the Astrodome. Glenn Davis will pinch it against Forsh. Runners at first and second here for the Astros. Nobody out. Bottom of the seventh. The infield is still halfway. We will check the strat. See if anything going on. That's a one. No. No hit and run with runner on second. Forsh will go ahead and pitch. And that's a 6-2. And that's a range play at the park. Astrodome says 1-3. That's a ground ball to short. It's a range play. So the ball is hit to Ozzie Smith. His range is a 4. But with the infield halfway, his range is a 3. He needs to make this. So 1-3, he got it. Yes, he does. Now do they turn the double play. Davis is a four, plus one is a five. Infield halfway, six. Short second base, her no adjustment. It's an automatic six, and it is a double play automatically. Bailey goes to third, but Garner and Davis are out. Two down. Wow. Davis hits into the double play. And boy, did the Cardinals need that. Six four three double play, but Bailey goes to third, and now the batter is Bill Doran. Doran is zero for three. He has not had a good postseason at all. Runners at third. Runner at third is Bailey. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. We will check a strat roll. There's still a pickoff chance. Nope. Force will pitch to Doran. And that's a 5-6. That's a blank. Doran gets the swing. 5-6. Fly ball. Center field. Inning over. And the Cardinals get out of it. No runs. A hit and a walk. After seven, still 2 nothing Astros. Ozzie Smith may have saved the Cardinal bacon. But unfortunately, the Cardinals have not been able to fry the eggs. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Tom Nieto leads off for the Cardinals. And the Astros are going to bring out a lefty. 
for the next couple of batters, and they will go with Jeff Calhoun. Calhoun will come up and pitch. So Calhoun will pitch to Tom Nieto here, top of the eight, two nothing. Astrodome fans know that should have been a good chance, but the Cardinals finally get a break. Calhoun will pitch. That's a 2-4. That's a hit by pitch. That's 16. That's going to be way too high. Nieto will swing. That's a 2-6. He flies out to right. And that is out number one. We'll see a pinch hitter for Bob Forsh. He is done. And coming on to bat will be Cesar Cedeno. Late trade from the Reds in 85. He will come up. He has the, has the most at bat, so he must so he must bat. It is not the ninth inning. So Calhoun will pitch to Cesar Cedeno. He gets the pinch hit for Forsh. Calhoun, 6-4. Str uh, strikeout plus. Yep, that will get Cedeno. Struck him out. Two away. Astro bullpen doing the job also here in this series. And now it's up to Vince Coleman. Calhoun looking on to pitch. Here it comes. 3-6. That's a walk. The 17 is high. Coleman will get to swing. That's a 5-1. And he grounds it to second base. Throw goes to first, side retired. One, two, three, inning by Calhoun. Still 2 nothing Astros. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Correct, three straight lefties coming up for the Astros. Cardinals are going to bring out Ken Daly. Ken Daly will pitch against the lefties. Fourth Cardinal pitcher. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. Although there was something wrong with the one I did. I'm not going to use Daly. I'm going to bring out, instead I'm going to bring out Bill Campbell. The, few, the next few of the extra Astros batter actually do worse against right-handers instead of lefties. So Daly's going to stay in the bullpen, and I'm going to bring out Bill Campbell instead. Cardinals down 2-0, bottom of the eighth. Campbell will pitch. That's a 3-4 against the lefty. It's a blank. Reynolds will swing 2-6. That's a fly out to left. That's out number one. Reynolds is now one for four for the game. And now here's Denny Walling. Walling is one for three. Singled in the first. Campbell will pitch. And that's a 5-2. Strikeout 15 is high. Walling will swing. 6-1. That's a star one. He grounds it to second base. And that's out number two. And now here's Jose Cruz. Cruz is two for three, having one of his better games. He's actually been hitting a little better in the last in the last few games. Two doubles for Cruz. Two outs. Pitch from Campbell. That's a one-four. That's a range play. Cruz will swing four-two. That's a line drive to short. Ozzie Smith's range is a four. No, he won't get it. It goes right past him into the outfield for a base hit. That'll be a single. Cruz goes to first, and Cruz now three for four today. Keeps the inning alive. And a chance now for Jerry Mumphrey. Two outs. Cruz on at first. Am I rolling a strat? Yes, I am. To see if anything happening. That's an 18. Nothing there. Yeah, that's a nice pickup. Odorizzi was someone I wouldn't mind having on the Mets. 
If he can stay healthy, he's a strong pitcher. He's not too bad. He's above average, if anything. And I'll take above average. Cruz on it first. Mumphrey at the plate. Campbell. He will pitch to Mumph. He will pitch to Mumphrey. Two outs. Nothing. Campbell's pitch. 5-2. Strikeout eight. Got him. Struck him out. Campbell gets Mumphrey, and the inning is over. One hit for the Astros. But they strand one, and that is it. After eight, it's 2 nothing Astros. Will we see some ninth inning magic? Top of the ninth. Astros are going to go to their closer, and it will be Dave Smith. Dave Smith actually had a rough outing last night a little bit, but was able to get the save. Smith has five saves on the, on the postseason. I thought he had four. He's got five of them. Dave Smith has five saves. He'll pitch to Willie McGee. Top of the ninth inning, two nothing Astros. A win here, and the Astros take a commanding three games to none lead, and the Cardinals will have their backs to the wall. Smith will pitch. That's a 4 4. It's a blank. McGee will swing 4 3. Base hit past third. It's a single. And, the, uh, and already the Cardinals. Get the leadoff man on. What? Did you expect a 1 2 3 ninth inning at RJL 518? Hockey Unreal? I think not. McGee goes to first, and now the tying run coming to the plate in Tommy Herr. Willie McGee, a chance to steal would be a six, a hit and run, seven or eight. And that is a three. I don't think I try to steal here. McGee, 16 plus one is 17. And the catcher, Bailey's a zero. I, I just don't steal. He's got the steal attempt. He has, he's got the jump. Question is, do I send him? I, I think a one to 17, he would steal. That's an 85% chance, but yet, the way the dice have been rolling for the Cardinals, I'm going to let her swing. I'm going to take off the steal. Smith will pitch to her. That's a 2-4. It's a range play. Her will swing. That's a 4-6. It's a ground ball to Smith. Smith's range is a 1. Smith's range is a one. The infield is halfway, but he's automatically in, so it doesn't matter. His range is a one. If he's got a, Smith's range is a one. Can he make the play to stop this from going back to the box? No, it's a base hit for Tommy Hurst. Gets by Smith. McGee's base running rating is a five. Yes, he will make third. Her goes to first, and already first and third, no one out. Good thing I didn't call the steal. Whitey Herzog says, no, 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 no. Let's see if I can get a hit here, and he does. Runners at the corners, and here is Jack Clark. The Astros are going to still play the infield halfway. The runner on first doesn't mean anything. You want to get two outs. I have no problem. If, if you're the Astros, you trade two outs for one run here right now. But Smith has not gotten anyone out yet. Runners at first and third. The batter is Clark. Infield halfway. Cardinals got a big chance. I will roll the... And there is no strat. There is no strat. Smith will concentrate on Clark. Here's the pitch. 
Three, three. That's a walk. The nine. Yes, he walks, Clark. And the bases are loaded. Now what do you do? Here's Andy Van Slyke. And they're going to take Dave Smith out. Van Slyke hits righties a lot better. They're going to bring out a lefty. And they're going to go with Frank DePino to try to shut down Slyke. Bases loaded here. No one out. But top of the ninth inning, 2 nothing Astros. Can the Cardinals do something here? Infield is still going to play halfway. Well, that call didn't age well. <laughs> Bases loaded. There's no strat. DePino will pitch. He'll pitch to Van Slyke. Infield halfway. Here it comes. It's a 4-1. Against the lefty, it's a blank. Van Slyke gets the swing. It's a 1-1 fly ball to left field. Now that is out number one. Van Slyke has no sacrifice fly rating. So he is automatically out. Willie McGee is going to try to come home. He's got a good base running rating. Base running rating is five. The fly ball is to left. That's Bass. He has no arm. A one to five. McGee is safe. A six, two to five. He is out. A six, one or a six, six. McGee scores, but a trailing runner is out. It's a four. McGee will score. McGee does come in to score. The other runners hold. It's now two to one. Two to one. Van Slyke does get the sacrifice fly. And now Terry Pendleton. The Pino will pitch to him. The infield is still staying halfway. A double play ends the game now. Two to one Astros, top of the ninth. Pendleton on the pl at the plate. DePino will pitch to him. DePino trying to get the save that Smith couldn't. Runners at first and second. A base hit will probably tie this game. There is now there is a strat roll. And that is a seven, nothing happening. I.D. Jester joins us here at the Astrodome. He says, come on, cards. Runner at first and second. DePino will pitch. That's a five, six. It's a blank. Pendleton will swing. It's a five, five. It's a star one. It's a ground ball to second. Do they turn the double play? Two, three. Four, shortstop for the Astros is Reynolds. No adjustment. A one to four. This game is over. No, it's a five. The game continues. Clark goes to third. Her is thrown out at second. Pendleton safe at first. Fielder's choice. The Cardinals get another chance. Fielder's choice by Pendleton. But now two outs. And now the batter is Ozzie Smith. Smith is 0 for 3. And they're going to bring out a new pitcher, DePino coming out. They're going to go to a righty. As Smith does not hit the right-handers as well as the lefties. Coming on to pitch for the Astros will be Julio Solano. He will come out to pitch. His job is simple. Get Ozzie Smith out. And yes, you keep Smith in there to bat. Pendleton beats the relay and the game continues. And by the way, I.D. Jester, I'm now playing Marvel Champions thanks to you. Fell in love with the game. I already have all the expansions and everything. Runners at first and third. 
Julio Solano will pitch to Smith. There is a strat roll. There's no chance at a pickoff, but let's see if anything comes up. That's a four. No. That is a four. Well, actually, a Pendleton could try to steal, but I don't think you do here. So runners at first. Oh, that would be stupid to get thrown out at second. Two outs. Solano will pitch to Smith. Two to one Astros. Top of the ninth. Solano catches. It's a one-two. It's a range play at the park. Oh, boy. Astrodome says two five. It's a ground ball to third. The ball is hit to Garner. His range is a three. If he if the infield is normal, he's got to make this. If he doesn't, we got a tie game. Yes, Garner's got it. He's up with it. Makes a diving stop. Picks it up. Pumps once. Pumps twice. Throws to first. That's your game. Astros get to escape again with the win. Two to one. Astros win it. Wow. Again, the Astros escape in the ninth inning. And the Astros take a three games to none lead and have now won eight straight in the playoffs. Holy cow. One run on two hits, a fielder's choice, and a walk. Final line score coming up. Can't have RJL roll dice for the Cardinals. Oh, really? Hey, ID Jester, check out game three of my NLDS again with the Cardinals and the Expos. Craziest game I ever rolled. You need to see how that game went. Check it out. Scott Epps will pick up the win. For the, for the Astros, two runs on eight hits, no errors. For the Cardinals, one run, six hits, and one error. And that one error was gigantic. And that one error was gigantic, which automatically brought a run home for the Astros. Mike Scott gets the win. He'll go to 1-0 and in the postseason. Kirk Kepshire gets a tough loss. He goes to 1-1. One and, one, and Julio Solano will get a one-out save. So the Astros lead this series three games to none. And here is the schedule for tomorrow. Tonight we have the New York Yankees taking on the Minnesota Twins. Game three of the ALCS. That series is tied at 1-1. And tomorrow, game four of the series between the Cardinals and the Astros will be at night. John Tudor will pitch for the Cardinals against the Astros' Bob Nepper. As the Astros are now one game away from the 1985 World Series. The Astros continue to have some awesome pitching, some great hitting, and unbelievable defense. What a win. Another great win for the Astros. So don't miss tonight. Game three of the ALCS. The Yankees are at the Twins at the Metrodome. G Puck, ID Jester, Dave Little, Hockey Unreal, Steeler fan, Philip Reynolds, Baseball Demos, Jack Dawson. Thank you all for joining me this morning, and we'll see you guys tonight for more baseball. Take care, everyone. The Astros beat the Cardinals two to one. Now lead the NLC, the nineteen eighty five NLCS, three games to none. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys later tonight. Take care.